Bullets of lead and fire shot from guns of steel cannot silence voices of truth. Rooms bleed blood and walls flow red. If those empty of space allow for light to peek through. The sun shines outside the windows, children smile and play. Laughter heard, but on floors and empty rooms, no longer remembered, blood dries black. There's only been one bullet shot by many hands and fingers, many directions aimed, many assassins, murderers, and killers. Some hide behind acronyms to justify their actions, such as CIA, USA, FBI, others using ideologies of hate. One bullet that shatters skull and bone, pierces heart and tears the skin, enters the organs and expels the soul. One bullet blessed by words like freedom and democracy. One bullet adorned with colors of red, white, and blue. One bullet that opened Che's body in Bolivia. That reddened the balcony in Memphis. That entered and left Salvador Allende's presidential palace floor soaked with red, dripping in blood. The same bullet made from twine that stole the breath of Las Mariposas and painted the cane fields red. That ripped through Augusta Sandino and left the air filled with rivers of blood. The same bullet that hung Angel Cristobal Rodriguez and the bullet that bloodied the streets in the countryside of Mexico, Cuba, Panama, the Dominican Republic, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras, and the many other places that have been hidden behind documents and paperwork. The same bullet that is used to kill those crossing lines drawn in offices. The same bullet that drips red onto the street corners and enters young Iraqi children. One bullet, many victims, many shades of red that all dry black. Blood stains and are grained and etched for eternity. No matter how many times hands are washed, the red is still seen, even through blind eyes. But bullets can't silent voices of truth, and that is why we gather today. Not only to honor, not only to never forget, not only to mourn, not only to celebrate, but to transform. I am a poet that hopes to create beauty from what is chaos, to create stories of inspiration from tragedy, to create hope from desperation, and to create love from hate. How I wish I could stop that bullet How we wish we could stop that bullet That enters and leaves holes Not only in flesh and tissue But leaves holes in who we are We cry because of death But not just death Because things like old age we understand But those of assassination Are hard to fathom No matter how expected they may be Revolutionaries die because they dare to love Revolutionaries die because they dare to love And in the last minutes of death What are the thoughts of those that bleed for their nation for their people Is it the same as those confined to cells? Does one see the image of children not yet born? Or grandbabies that will no longer be held? Smiles that will not be felt? In the last minutes of life dying, bleeding to death for over 20 hours What are the thoughts of those who know death is upon them? Why did they not come to your aid? Why did they not hold you as they would hold their children? To do so to an enemy is unimaginable Why did they not hold you as I would have close to my heart So we could feel it beat? Which of us here will stand against the atrocities before us? Which of us will clean the wounds of Comandante Filiberto Ojedo Rios? Not because he was willing to give his life, but because he was willing to live his life. Not because he was willing to give his life, but because he was willing to live his life so ours could be better. Which of us will hold the hands of Asco Lopez Rivera and Carlos Alberto Torres through the steel and floor of concrete? Which of us will insist for change, but bullets can't silence voices of truth? And that is why we gather today to honor, to never forget, to mourn, to celebrate Filiberto. We gather here to transform, even when time has passed and blood dries black because it inevitably will. These memories will never be forgotten.